this is Luann. Today's theme is nursery rhymes. Hey diddle diddle, Mary had a little lamb, the itsy bitsy spider. Rhymes from our early childhood. Who knew then how important they were to us? We just thought they were fun to sing. Nursery rhymes helps break down words for children. They strengthen the ability to hear sounds in words. The rhymes are often sung. Music slows down the words. The rhythm catches their attention. Soon your preschooler will be reading and singing the rhymes with you. Children can bond with their grown-ups and their classmates. Familiar nursery rhymes allow everyone to join in and sing the songs together. Listening to nursery rhymes builds vocabulary. Like reading picture books, children will hear words not used in normal conversations. The more words they hear, the bigger their vocabulary. A strong vocabulary impl improves reading comprehension and writing. Here are a few books that I would like to share with you today. The first one is Mary Had a Little Lamb by Sarah Josepha Hale. She tells the traditional rhyme of the lamb going to school and then waiting for her patiently after school. The Itsy Bitsy Spider, as told by Isaac Trapani, tells the traditional tale of the Itsy Bitsy Spider climbing up the water spout and she shares a few more verses for the spider's adventure. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the rocking chair. Up jumped a cat and knocked her in the air. Down plopped the cat and when he was asleep, the itsy bitsy spider back up the chair did creep. And over in the meadow, as told by John Langstaff, you can read the story from the Little Turtle 1 all the way to the Little Bunny's 10. Over in the meadow, in the warm little den, lived an old mother rabbit with her Little Bunny's 10. Hop, said the mother. We hop, said the 10. So they hopped and were glad in their warm little den. The kids' library is full of books with nursery rhymes. Stop by our desk and we will be happy to help you find some. Thanks for joining me today.